Hello everyone. I just want to do a really quick update to the initial outboard gearbox video. A few people asked to kind of see how the gears look and the clutch dog looks and just kind of to see how this connects a little better. And um, as you can see, these are the gears and each of them have this kind of slot which fits the clutch dog. And as you can see, the clutch dog has these two teeth. So as you can see, if I were to try to put it in like this, obviously it would not work as these two kind of teeth over here are blocking the clutch dog. But the second you pass these two, it kind of pops into place and allows you to turn the gear. Now this explains why when you kind of put it into forward or reverse, it's a little rough. This is not like a car transmission where you know if you let go of the clutch slowly, you can pretty much go into first gear without any vibration or any thump at all. It can be perfectly smooth. With an old, especially old, old outboard gearbox, it's normal to have kind of a bit of a clunk. You don't want a loud clunk. You don't want it to seem abnormal. But as you put into gears, you should get a little thump, kind of like a little thud. And this is simply because once this fits in here, it literally just grabs this gear and makes it go. There's no smooth connection between the two. It just, it's kind of like grab and go. And um, so this is kind of how it actually connects. And the way you move the clutch is there is a little piece that fits around the clutch dog and it just rotates. So as the clutch dog rotates with the gears, this stays in place. And this is what allows you to move it back and forward. And this was actually, this is on this old motor I had it, this was basically sheared on. I had to smash this apart with a hammer, but this kind of is an indication essentially this could have overheated or could have run out of oil and this literally got fused together. But this just gives you kind of a little more view of how the two parts connect. I understand I showed in the other video how they function, but when you can see the actual path into which the shift dog clicks in when you go into gear, helps you understand why there's a bit of a thud and why the mechanism isn't really that smooth. And just be aware that the thud shouldn't be that loud. And this is why if your RPMs are too high, when you try to shift into gear, you will get this loud thud. And also if you don't slow down and your motor doesn't drop down in RPMs enough, when you say go from forward to reverse, you need to give it a second for it to slow down. So when you go into reverse, you don't get that overly loud thud because the motor is still going somewhat fast. So there's just a few more bits of info.